ಮೆನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಶನ್ He is the supreme knower of everything in this world, the super soul of the universe. He is the unborn, supremely situated Lord. I offer my respect for patiences unto Him. Prokhar Odiyan Bhattva. Sometimes in Bhakti Jova, Krishna consciousness is preached to the common man. People are going, where is Krishna? for his god can you show him to us in this verb the answer is given that if we are sufficiently intelligent we must know that there is someone who has created the entire cosmic manifestation who has supplied and has become the ingredients for this cosmic manifestation who is eternally existing but who is not within the cosmic manifestation simply on the basis of this suggestion one can offer respectful obeisances unto the supreme lord this is the beginning of devotional life here gajendra offering prayers to the supreme lord says that that supreme lord created of this universe and he himself is also the form of the universe this universal form but is not the way transcendent to the cosmic manifestation it supreme knower who knows everything is super soul the universe is unborn is eternally existing so i offer a respectful obeisances to him this is tato truth supreme truth is truth regarding supreme personality of god and this is given in srimad bhagavatam it is essence of all vedic literature sarva vedanta saro it's vedic proof is spotless proof amala pramana mukhya pramana chief evidence chief proof is vedic proof shruti pramana ved pramana that we should accept vega veda is the supreme authority veda is mother veda mata shruti mata is mother Then, the bona fide authority to speak about the Supreme Father. As mother, your mother is the only bona fide authority to speak about your father. But mother will say, you should accept, one should accept it. That no argument should be raised against it. Because mother is the bona fide authority. She only can tell about the father, nobody else. This is the principle. This is the first principle in this uh, spiritual curriculum. Accept the bona fide authority. This is the first principle. Accept the bona fide authority. This will be beneficial for you. for your advancement 
in this path. As we very often give this example, when a child goes to the primary school to begin his education, to learn three hours, reading, writing, and arithmetic, he accepts the bona fide teacher. The certified teacher, bona fide teacher, appointed by the government, whatever he will say, he says, teachers, the innocent child accepts it. The teacher says, two and two is equal to four. The child accepts, yes, two and two is equal to four. He never raises question or argument, why? And how? Why two and two will be four? And how it is? Never has this argument. It's only simple principle, accept the bona fide authority. This is beneficial. If you won't accept, to raise this question or argument, why two and two is equal four? Why not five or three or anything else? He can never make progress. And it's a educational path. He can never. He accepts it. If you ask him, two and two is called what? So two and two is called four. How? Why? How do you know? The two and two is called four? My teacher has said. This is the only answer. My teacher has said. Teacher is the authority. Such bad teaching. Similarly, Ved Mata, Sruti, Mother, Ved Mother, bona fide authority to speak about Supreme Father. What Mother said about Father without argument, accept. Accept. Don't add any argument. Achintya khadu jivahavan astam tar keno jodayet. Which is achintya inconceivable thing, truth. What argument will be there? No argument will be there. Your condition so, your poor defects, Brahma Pramada Vipralit Sakarana Pautava. Defective senses, defective mind, everything defective with you. You cannot think of all these transcendental spiritual things which is beyond your conception. So what argument can you raise this Sachintya? Inconceivable on your part. Sachintya Kurudevava and Astantar Kenuzoze. That is stated. There should be no argument at all. Only one principle, accept bona fide authority. Bona fide authority. Accept. This is, this is beneficial for your spiritual advancement. If you make advancement, elevate yourself, to a higher stage, when your consciousness will be completely purified. In other words, I may say, when you attain the first level of consciousness, Purna Vikachita Chetana, the completely blossoming level of consciousness, then you can understand. How and what? Then you understand. How and one are supremely powerful. All these things, the thoughts correlating to it, will be manifested to you. Then you can understand. 
but in the initial stage, beginning stage, as my spiritual master said, this is the beginning of devotional life. Primary stage, beginning stage. You can't arrange an argument on this subject. But you only want to accept the bona fide That is the Here, Srila Prabhupada says, sometimes when Bhakti Yoga, Krishna consciousness is preached to the common man, people argue, where is Krishna? Where is God? Can you show him to us? General question. Because this condition so has a great, and say, ego, false pride. His principle is seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. If I can see Krishna's Supreme Lord, then I believe. Yes, Krishna. Supreme Lord. So says, can you show me can you show him to me? He says, have you seen? Have you seen Krishna? Have you seen Supreme Lord? If you say yes, show me. Then I can believe. Otherwise I won't believe. The thing is believing. That is his motto, his principle. But he he doesn't know, or he is not at all prepared for so that he can see. If I will show you, you can see, because you are blind. You are blind in that respect. One who is a blind man has no vision. How can you see the objects here? Because he is a blind man. He has no vision. First he should possess vision. I to see things. Without eyes, how can you see? If I saw, how can you see? You have no eye. No vision. How can you see? And sometimes also we say this thing. Story of the blind boy, born blind boy. There was a born blind boy from very birth. He was blind. He had not seen sun. Those who have eyes, they see sun. They speak about sun. And they say, Oh, sun has arisen. This brought daylight. Darkness has gone. Night has gone. Wake up. Why are you sleeping? Wake up! The blind boy was hearing. Oh, what is that? What are they speaking? About song? Who is that song? Where is that song? I can see song. How is it that song makes their days and nights? I make my own day and night. When I sleep, that's my night. When I wake up, that's my day. I make my own day and night. What is that that means that the sun is making that day and night? What is this? Hey, Baba, don't speak about sun. I am very peaceful. Don't break my peace speaking about sun. It says like that. Huh? Where is that sun? I don't see it. But he never accepts, he is not prepared to accept that he is blind. He cannot see the sun. He has no vision, no eye. Those who have eyes, they see and they pray. Why don't you accept it? This is like that. This is like that. Where is Krishna? Where is God? Can you show him to us? You are blind. You have no vision to see God. 
Krishna. You cannot see that Lord, Supreme Lord of Krishna with your material eye. With material eye. Because Krishna is not a material being. Ishvara Parama Krishna Sajidananda Vigraha. Is Sajidananda Vayo. It's transcendental. It's not material. It's a transcendental to all this material manifestation. How can you see him with your material vision, material art? To see him, proper vision, proper eye. Premanjana Chavita Bhakti Vilochana, you know? Santasa Deva Udesu Vilokayanti Jasyama Sundaram Atintya Guna Surupam Govindam Adi Purusham Tamam Majami. Brahma Sankita said this thing. What sort of vision is required to see the Supreme Lord Krishna? Premanjana Chavita Bhakti Vilochana, you know? It's Bhakti Vilochana. I have devotion. Devotional eye, the eye in which the ointment of love of God is smeared, Srimanjana Surito, that I can see. If you have not possessed such eye, how can you see? If I show you, how can you see? You can see. One should understand this thing. And this is sort of a, if he is very serious and very eager to see Supreme Lord, then he must inquire. And he must admit, that, yes, I am blind in that respect. I have no proper vision. I am not for this society. So I can say, then he should inquire, how can I possess that all? That inquiry should be there. How can I possess that all? That vision. Then I can see. The Supreme Lord. Because to see the Supreme Lord is the supreme perfection of human life. To see him, to know him, to understand him in God. That is the supreme perfection of human life. And one who is intelligent, very serious and intelligent man, he must inquire and he must admit his defects. Conditional soul, he has four defects. Brahma Pramada to Pralipsa Karana Patava. Karna Patava means defective senses. Defective senses. Senses are defective. It is not perfect. If you may completely free from this conditional state, then your senses will be perfect. Those who are Archyabhikyo, Archyabhikyo Bhakya Nahi, Tosa Tatushkoi. Those who are archyavidyo, those who are completely liberated of souls, free from these four defects, they see things the right perspective. They see the vastu vastu, Krishna. Vastu vastu is Krishna. The real one. They see supreme truth. They see. They have freedom. So, those who see, they speak about it. Why don't you accept it? As the blind boys should accept, they who have this eye, vision to see some. They speak about. Similarly, you condition soul, you are blind in this respect, see, 
the Supreme Lord personally. You have no visa. You are blind. But admit it. And your vision, your senses are defective. You are not perfect senses, not free from defect. How can you see the supremely perfect person? It's transcendental, all material conditions. If someone will show you who has seen, who sees always, how can you see without proper vision? That should be first admitted. This is the most important thing. Therefore, it is said, one should inquire. One should inquire. Yes. How can I? See, how can I? Of that reason, where it is available. Where it is available. Premanjana Surito, where, where, where that ointment is available. So I, I can get that ornament and spear it on my eye, so I can see. Is there any factory where it is being manufactured? So I'll go to that factory or factory owner and get that ornament. And where? Huh? Where is that factory? Thanks. Thanks. Huh? What he said? Bhakta Bhagavata is a factory owner? Is Bhakta Bhagavata is a factory owner? He manufactures that factory? That world man? Are you working in his factory? You work there? So I can get through you. Why is he work there? In that factory? So, please help me. Get me some. Have you seen his factory? How, how big? How many people are working there? Huh? Mahamuni Das, have you seen his factory? He's a great factory owner who manufactures this Premangama, ointment of love. Huh? Have you seen his factory? You have not seen. How can you say? Unseen thing. <laughs> you are not How to say? What? <laughs> I said, so you believe me? <laughs> you believe me? <laughs> yes, that's a fact. That Bhakta Bhagavata. Dear devotee of the Lord, he has possessed that eye. He is completely free from this poor defect. The liberated soul is Arjavigyo. He sees the Lord. He always sees. No. He has seen and he always sees. You understand? He has developed love for the Lord. Bhaktama Mandiyate Premi Sude Vitori Jahan is Prapadeta Dekhoyama. That Krishna himself has said this thing. That Bhakto, that devotee, has bound me up in his heart with the rope of love. Wherever he looks, sees, he only sees me. He only sees me. He never sees anything else. Thavar kangama dekhe no dekhatar murti sarvatra hoita sudeva spurti Isma bhagavata bhagavata tamo best of all bhagavatas he sees moving and non-moving and it is living and thavar jongam but it doesn't see the outward form. Sarvatra Vaidar Ishtadeva Suti. Only he sees his distort, his loving Lord, but the super soul. He has such vision. He has such vision. This is Bhakti Vilotana. This is 
Ve ayet bu hoşan ispemanda da turi tot. So he speaks, he says, is buna payda parodi. Accept him. And then where? How can I get? How can I remove? My blindness? I'm blind fellow? So operation is needed now? Satrak is there? Huh? Satrak? So satrak operation? Approach a doctor? Huh? So approach a doctor? The doctor is there. Who will operate? Remove your contract. Then you can have the vision. Oh, then you can see. Oh, his son is there. Blind boy can see the sun. Similarly, you are blind. How can you see the spiritual son? Krishna chenva yavaskara. Krishna chenva yavaskara. Krishna is spiritual son. Chenva yavaskara. How can you see? Oh. Unless you have the vision, unless your contract is operated, huh? and for the vision, you can't see. So approach the doctor. Who is that doctor? Take that hospital. Huh? Yeah? Yes. Sadhu Vaidyo. That is stated. Sadhu is a doctor. The spiritual doctor. Sadhu is here. You understand? All the conditioned souls here, the patients, Oberug, Rogi patient, Oberugi. You understand? They are affected with the material diseases. Material bondage is a diseased condition. You understand? The Baba Rogi. Rogi means a diseased person. So, Vaidya, doctor is there, Adhu Vaidya. Yeah? You understand? Bhagya is this Adhu Vaidya, why? It is fortunate. If you can, yes, so Sadhu Vaidya. Yeah? That Sadhu is the doctor, physician. Then his disease will be cured. You understand? Yes, one must inquire. Inquiry is the most important thing. Without inquiry, how can you understand things? How can you know things? Hmm? So, here it is said, this is the beginning. My revered spiritual master says, this is the beginning of devotional life. Just accept this. Accept the bona fide This first real soul. The seeing is believing cannot help you. This is known as adhyakhi kota. In Sanskrit we say adhyakhi kota. You are so proud of your senses, your material senses, and the knowledge acquired through your knowledge, acquiring senses, sense perceives them, we say sense perception, but I perceive through my senses that I can believe in actually. Unless I perceive, I won't accept. But you should understand it clearly. They so want to help you in this spiritual sphere, spiritual sphere. You understand? Even in middle sphere also, this can't help you also. Perfectly. Though you are in material sphere, though you have material vision, material senses, still that defective senses. What you see here also in this material sphere, you can see it correctly also. There is defect. Isn't it? Can you see correctly? Huh? I is a very important sense. Oh, I have seen, I'm, I am eyewitness. I am eyewitness. How can I disbelieve? I have seen it. Baba, you are eyewitness? Have you seen it correctly? Oh, yes. Oh, do you see? Oh, I was calling. I saw there, pass 
talking to that throat at 10 pm in the night at night that night i saw him the corpse was standing there oh corpse was standing all right let us go i see where the ghost will go for to so is that true well, or this road this year to go ghost was standing all right let us go oh he started he no branches nothing a dry that appeared as a ghost to you oh it is gone this we no how to say thing is believing it is actually are your defect reason also in matter still also you cannot see correctly baba i want to speak a piece of thing one must accept ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ what the knowledge i acquired from my sense perception is the right knowledge then how can i help you i can't help you that's not that defective knowledge that's not right knowledge your senses are defective what is perceived but knowledge you acquired from it is defective knowledge is not correct perfect knowledge those who have perfect senses when our fight of it is completely free from four defects at jo vidyo vakya nahi to 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 you understand so accept they they have vision proper vision they see they speak about it the supreme lord said this will help you then in quest how can i at that reason how can i be free from these defects how can i be cured of this disease condition this at any cost you understand so it is said approach the doctor approach the doctor and request him so he you know, can cure you so that he the patham sumad bhav so that he the patham if you are serious to see that supreme lord so approach sathe sadhu vaikyo and humbly hear surrender yourself apun vidan put complete faith in what he says sadha first requisite ato sadha First requisite, shodha, complete faith. It's complete faith. Hmm. If you want a faith, you can't make progress. First thing, other shodha. So, if you have no faith, you're a faithless person. If you go there, if you hear from him, still you cannot have it. You cannot have that sort of intervention. Though you go, you go to the factory and meet the factory owner, still you cannot get. Still you cannot get. So, so some person said, "Hello, ah, so some person said, 'Hello.' He went to the factory, met the factory owner, still he cannot get the ornament because he is a faithless person. Isn't it? Faithless person must has to be judged. That is what the." complete faith and plenty faith surrender so what is said accept it humbly then sutra the here then it is thought then you can see then automatically that is the factory then automatically that automatically will disappear into your eye then you can see supreme this is the process then stand 
In this way, you can have it. This is the big Thank you. said that because we have defective vision, we cannot see Krishna, therefore we have to approach the shadow. Yes, you cannot see things here. You cannot even perfectly, see things. Perfectly. He likes perspective. What to speak of Krishna? Yes. So in order to see Krishna, we have to approach the shadow Vaidya, but we also we have no vision to see the shadow Vaidya. We, we, do, we do not know. We have no vision to see with shadow. Pray. Oh, pray. Try. Huh? Where is that? So we're trying. Pray. How can I, oh Lord, Krishna, how can I see you? I am blind. I don't know who is it. Why do you hear? Open my eyes. Can you please help me? Please help me, please. Krishna will make a little Yes. He's all more, he knows him. Knows him. And you know, he's in your heart. Super so. He can understand that you are crying in your heart. Not outward crying. <laughs> At kiss you, shedding tears. He can understand that he can cry. Cry in the heart. You will make arrangements. You can get this out of the way. Blind men crying on the road. Oh, how can I go? I am not even. Can anybody help me? Please help me. One. Oh, very. Bhagavan was God hearted person may come. Oh, blind man, die. Let me help. All right, come, come, come. I'll take you to the Baba. Yes. 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 What to hide it? Oh, why? We won't get it. No. Krishna wants that thing. Let him cry. <laughs> then I can understand it. It's not serious. It's crying, man. Right? Ah, crying. I must have. It's so much more. And here, Sony is mercy also. But I don't mean. As him, Veda Puran. Made it, compiled it, tradition of soul. It is said there. Then, friend, but, but it is said there, it should be understood in the truth of God. Yes. Not a part of it. That's right. So, by the interpretation and material knowledge, <coughs> let it, until you can understand it. That means really. So, Tata Tanya is in the Guru. So, Guru is in the Guru. Yes, send Guru Mahesh. One sound. You must also have this. The Guru and that Prashma can help you. That's that. I don't know who is the real Guru. I am not such a defective person. I cannot judge. I cannot see also. I am not real also. Everything is defective in me. My judgment is also defective. Right? Judge also. I cannot see also. I cannot evaluate. That's other. You are defective. I cannot see also. Yes. Then you can see also. Yes. 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 Wondering, 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 lots, lots, lots of universes. 
You understand? He's wearing lots and lots of space. They were like, somebody, somebody, somebody. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Krishna Krupa and Mercy of Krishna and Mercy of Guru. Krishna Krupa, Guru Krupa. Then you can get this scene. Okay. Bhakti Vata, Vita Bhakti. Then the soul is happy. Understand? Krishna Krupa. Krishna Krupa, the Guru Krupa, the Guru Krupa, the Krishna. Mm-hmm. By Krishna's mercy, you get Guru. And by Guru's mercy, you can get Krishna. Yes, sir. That's not a process. Well, many people may get the association of a bona fide Guru. Uh-huh. But, but you get that seed of devotional service. Uh-huh. Um, it's not such an easy thing. Not such an easy thing to get that theory of devotion and service. And I say, where is still? You went to the factory, met the factory owner, but you can't get the ointment. You are a deathless person. Mm. Before you went to the factory and met the factory owner, still you couldn't get the ointment. You are a deathless person. Most important thing, others of the first thing is that you understand. First thing is that so dhavana lavati jnana unta puro sanjati indriya jnana lavati puro sanjati nasirena adhika chadi. Gita says that. So dhavana purusa manga prapyo nivartante vrta sanjara vartmani. Gita says clearly. So dhavana is helpful. One who is helpful was developed on preaching page in Sadhu Sastra Guru. You understand? In Krishna. He can get this knowledge. Bhavati Jnana, transcendental knowledge. You understand? He can get it. If he's deathless, then he says, Asuddha no Purusa. Well, no Suddha, no faith. The deathless person cannot get me. Manga prapyo nivartante nutu sansara vartmani. This nutu sansara, this murtya puro, where there is birth and death, suffering. Again and again, you will be coming here and dwarving in the cycle of birth and death. Cannot be, because it's a thriftless person. No faith in sadhu, sastra, guru, and in me, so what can you get? Right. No. Um, Commission soul is blind, totally blind, and he can't rely on his own senses to receive, receive knowledge and reach the highest path. He's expected to blindly follow the authority. But if he's blind, how does he know he has the right authority? Hmm? If, if the commission soul is blind, yes. how does he know huh. he has the correct bona fide authority? That I say. He asked that question. Yes. He asked that question. <laughs> you only pray to Lord, Supreme Lord Krishna, who knows everything. Then say, Krishna knows everything. So only pray to Him. He will make arrangement. He will make arrangement that you can meet a bona fide person. Otherwise, you will be cheated, you will meet a bogus person. Mm. You understand? Bogus person. Yeah. Not bona fide doctor, a quack. <laughs> meet a quack. <laughs> You'll meet a quack. <laughs> a quack. Just posing as a doctor. I am like, oh, a Parsi as a doctor, some great doctor, MD, like that. <laughs> then say, such people, such persons are great in the number. The only way of Mahaprabhu. Krishna Krupa. Yes. Guru Krishna Krupa. Yes. Amen. I have a question from your class, Maharaj. Yes. 
you mentioned there is only one bona fide and one Sruti only gives about one bona fide teachings. Yeah. But you see in Vedas, there are six different kinds of astic, you know, Dvaitavad, Advaitavad, Vishishta Dvaitavad, Siddha Dvaitavad, Achinda Vedavad, etc. Mm. All these are then, and they all have different conclusions also. So which one to accept and which one Sruti says bona fide then? Parvaicha Vedi Angeva Vedyam. Veda comes from Krishna. Yeah. Veda mm. is Veda comes from the breathing of this suffering, Nisho Sita Bhana. Do you understand? So Krishna says he is the bona fide authority of Veda. In all the Vedas I am to be known. And Krishna is to be known. So they do also say Vishishta Dvaita also says Krishna is bona fide, Suddha Dvaita also says. But then there is a difference in their worshipping, difference in their processes. The, when they say Krishna is the Supreme Lord, yes, that's all right. Krishna is Supreme Lord. Veda says this thing. Whatever the, that is question of philosophy. Do you understand? That's question of philosophy. But some accept Narayan is the Supreme. Some accept yeah. Vishnu is the Supreme. Mm-hmm. Yes. But uh, then Correct philosophy. Narayana is also supreme. He is also supreme. But who is the original one? That's Dipachire. Huh? That Brahma Sangitas. Many lamps are there, light and lamps, they give equally light. But one is original lamp, that is Krishna. But otherwise now some pradas don't accept of Brahma Samhita as authority. They may not. That's what is what is a bona fide sampradaya. That question will arise. The bona fide sampradaya. Pramanic parampara. But Pramanic parampara, like Ramanuja sampradaya or Vallabhachar sampradaya, they don't accept Brahma Samhita, the bona fide scripture. Therefore, it is said, Padam Purana says, Chata raste kalo bhapya kale purusottamat Sri Brahma Rudra Sanuka Vishnava Kipavana this is question of inquiry. You'll go deep and deep and deep and deep and deeper, 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 deeper. One is real inquisitive. You'll go deep, deeper, 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 and deeper, most deep, deep, deepest thing. To understand utmost thing. That's very good. The inquiry. Though in Kali Yuga, there are four bona fide sampradaya, Sri Brahma, Rudra, Sanaka. Still, there is little difference in their philosophies regarding Dvaita and Advaita. So, last thing is most important. So, there is a Kalu Bhupya, Utkali Pusutama. In Utkala Khanda, Pusutama Khetra, there will be unification of these four philosophies, philosophies of four Acharyas, and one unified philosophy will come up. That is the sublime philosophy, and that will spread throughout the world. That Mahaprabhu did, that is Achinta Vedavada Tattva. So now this unified flow is there. There are four flows, now the unified, and one flow is there, that is Gaudiya Parampara. Then Mahaprabhu is Parampara, it is a current. That's one point. One may be. In Ramanuja Sampradaya, maybe in Madhva Sampradaya, maybe in Vishnu Swami's uh, hmm. uh, Limbarka Sampradaya, unless they come to the lotus feet of Guru, they cannot get praying. So they cannot have access to the innermost chamber of that lotus. Then stand for Nika, hmm? the Guru. Because we are saying we are unified, and they may say, well, we are unified. No, no, what Sastra says, Padma Purana says, what is your proof? You are unified. What is your proof? So the Sastra. No Sastra. Padma Purana says this. Well, they have been quoted in his Amnaya. Huh? He has quoted in his Govinda Vasya. Yes, yeah, Govinda Vasya in that uh, Pramaya Ratnavali. Pramaya Ratnavali. Yes. Well, the Vidyavasana has quoted these words from Padma Purana in, in Pramaya Ratnavali. Mm-hmm. Yes. In Pramaya Ratnavali, the teachings comes from Madhva Sampradaya. Yes. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu defeated the philosophy of Madhva Sampradaya. Ah. 
Yes. But at the same time, we call ourselves as the Sampradaya of Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. Yeah, why? It's Madhva Gaudiya. But uh, without Gaudiya, Madhva Sampradaya is not completely bona fide. Because complete Dvaita and complete Advaita is not also bona fide Vedic truth. Do you understand? Yes. Therefore, Achintya Veda Veda Tattva. Do you understand? Advaita is there, Dvaita is there, but Achintya. Veda, same time, at the same time, simultaneously, that difference and non-difference. This is Achintya, inconceivable, that Mahaprabhu's philosophy is the last philosophy, the sublime philosophy. No other philosophy is there, because he is the Supreme Personality. He is the original Acharya, Guru. You understand? That is current now. When it is current, this previous one is, and that is there, if they are intelligent, they must come mm. to the fold of Mahaprabhu. Then they can get frame, so they can uh, enter into Golubhanda. Otherwise, they may go up to Vaikuntha, Vaisorjya, or some may go to the Tarakarama Thura like that. Not Guru Nava. Stand. Put up to Mathura Dharaka or Mathura. That apartments, they went into that apartment, those apartments. Mathura or Dharaka. That's the innermost apartment. Then stand. But Ramana Jasam Pradesh says, Vaikuntha is the topmost. Yes, it's not the topmost than Madhurya. Yeah, Madhurya, Vaishnavya is topmost. How is Madhurya? Jnana Vaisvarja, where there is Jnana Vaisvarja, Priti Sankuchi to Baba, Sankul Lao, Priti Sankul, that is not to explain, <laughs> Priti Sankuchi to, you understand. This is all bona fide statements and Mahaprabhu, if someone will never accept Mahaprabhu, a Chaitanya Vishwa Yidho, Jadhi Chaitanya Ishwara Na Vidhu, Sarva Sastra Kya Hapi Brahman Tite Jana, then <laughs> you will be only involved in Baba. You won't accept Chaitanya Ishwara. You may be Sarva Sastra Gyo. Still you cannot <laughs> revolve in Baba. Wonder. <laughs> Accepts Mahaprabhu Chaitanya. You say Kali God, unless one accepts Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one cannot come to the right conclusion. No, no, no. But then they will claim on opposite side, Parpaksha will say, you are Sankirna minded. We are not Sankirna minded. Mahaprabhu is very proud. <laughs> Adhuta Karunya, Adhuta Vodanya, Adhuta Udhatya, Baba. Patito Pamaro Nahimache, without discrimination, he has impressed you. We are <laughs> narrow minded. What is this nonsense, Baba? <laughs> Prane no marilo kare? Huh? Jachigia gore gore, hori namo dia? Sudeo sudilo, jachigia gore gore. He never caught short, Baba. Mahaprabhu is such in other incarnations. Killed him. He was caught short. But in Mahaprabhu incarnation, he never caught short. No. Prane no marilo kare? Never caught short anybody. Rather, giving, freely giving the Sare Krishna now, mantra, gore, gore, going to house to house, house to house, door to door, take this, take this, take this. And so mercifully, only he killed the demoniac propensity in your heart and make you pure. Such a broad minded, magnanimous, sankirna, narrow. Please be narrow, necessary. <laughs> Mozilla Baba, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so proud. Mahaprabhu is so magnanimous. Three times the word wonderful is used by Kubrayas Goswami. Adhuta Karunyo, Adhuta Vodanyo, Adhuta Vodanyo. Wonderfully munificent, wonderfully merciful, wonderfully magnanimous. The Mahaprabhu. 
Even he delivered the my body to the great offenders. He showed mercy to them. So, the low spaces, balls, beasts, trees, mountains. So it is mercy to one and all. After being so broad-minded, <laughs> not discriminating, indiscriminately, yeah. <laughs> rather. That will go to them. They are narrow-minded. <laughs> Not marvelous. They are narrow-minded. <laughs> they cannot accept it. You understand? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.